and welcome back to my channel and a new vlog. So today is Tuesday the... I don't even know the date today. Let's see. Let's look in the trusty calendar. Got a nice calendar here with Ina. I don't know if you can see. There you go. So let's see. Today is the 19th of January and um, yesterday I posted a video on my channel that is uh, about uh, the best moments of 2020. I'm gonna link it in the description so please go check that video out. Um, but today I'm going to take you guys along on a nice little simple vlog and I thought that um, I'm gonna give you a little update about Ina because uh, yesterday we went to the farrier and uh, yeah how it's going with her shoeing and uh, just how she's feeling at the moment <laughs> First, I thought that I was gonna show you guys a bit what I got for Christmas. It's just gonna be a bit quick here because I need to leave to, uh, to the stable soon and um, yeah, get out the door. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys. So the first thing that I got for Christmas from my dad actually was this vest. So it has a little power bank in here that's plugged in. I don't know if you can see that there, this orange thing there. Uh, and you just pop it on with this button and um, it has some, I guess you can see it here, it's sewn in. Um, some little heat wires into the vest and it keeps you really nice and warm all day long. So I'm really happy with that, it's really nice. Uh, and then... Um, I actually got these for myself. Don't know if you can see the color. They're green. Um, riding breeches from my Dolores. Uh, but I also got a white pair and a black pair from my husband for Christmas. So now I have three new breeches, which is really nice. And then I also got myself some uh, socks. Well, this is my closet here with all my freshly washed riding equipment but yeah I know him some socks and uh, then I also got Ina a nice blanket so I'm gonna insert a little picture here for you guys so you can see the blanket um, and that's it really um, so let's turn the camera around So pretty brief, but that's what I got for Christmas. I'm really happy with everything because obviously these are things that I use basically every single day or the breeches I switch around and use every single day uh, and the socks as well. So I'm going to go uh, grab a smoothie and then I'm going to head to the stables uh, and I'll give you guys a little in update. Um, a new type of smoothie. Uh, it has orange matcha, um, ginger, coconut oil, spinach, uh, there's a hemp protein powder in there, there is uh, pineapples, you can see them down here, and what else, um, turmeric, I've probably forgotten something, but yeah, I'm just gonna pop in some, uh, um, Oatly and then blend. Emily, what you up to? Oh, buddy. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, so I'm about to head out. Got my little uh, green smoothie here. And I figured that you guys couldn't probably see the color of these pants before. I don't even know if this camera catches this. Uh, but these uh, new My The Lord's pants are, uh, they're like dark green. 
but the lighting's not too good here, so it's hard to see. But yeah, I'm about to head out through the door now and leave for the stables. Bye, Belle. So I'm in the car, as you can see. Hopefully you can hear me and turn the fan off. Uh, I think my camera's like a bit crooked. <laughs> it's like on a tripod. Um, but I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I just popped it up and we'll see how this footage turns out. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way to the stables and um, uh, today I'm going to have walk in uh, just out in the woods and I'm gonna do that for a couple of days because uh, now when she has been shooed she needs to uh, just get comfortable and adjusted to the new um, shoeing and um, yeah, that's that. Uh, I have some footage from uh, yesterday when I was at the farriers, uh, so I'm gonna insert that here. Just finished at the farriers. Been here at the massive horse clinic out in Sigtuna. And Inos bundled up again. Um, pop some leg protections on. Just gonna take a little quick walk with her around here because she's been stood still for a while. And then we're gonna go home. Good girl. So I'm gonna focus on the road, that's why I'm not looking too much uh, into the camera. But uh, as you can see, we went to the ferry and everything went well yesterday. Uh, we're doing another set of uh, the form hoof. And uh, the first set she had, she was really comfortable with. Uh, obviously the horses need uh, some time to adjust and get used to everything. Uh, but after the first days then, uh, they, uh, when they are adjusted and comfortable um, with the form of hoof you can just ride like normal. Obviously it depends on um, if your horse has an injury or anything. Um, but my horse doesn't have an injury. She has uh, the form of hoof because, she, uh, because we need to improve her um, hoof quality and the hoof wall on the inside of both the front feet. So that's why we're using uh, this uh, like 3D technology. <laughs> so today I'm gonna work and uh, I have uh, three lessons. Um, I have a private lesson, so I usually only have two lessons, but now I have three. Um, and uh, I'm gonna see if I have any time to uh, ride any of the other horses. Uh, I know that I've showed uh, you guys previously me riding some other horses. I don't know if that's anything you're interested in, please comment down below. Uh, but I thought that maybe it could be quite interesting to see uh, when I ride some of uh, the other horses in the stables. Uh, previously I think I've only showed when I've jumped uh, a horse called Sylvia and a pony called uh, Irol. And I think also a horse called Kenta. That's the only like short little snippets that you've seen before. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, this week ride some uh, of the other horses in the stables. Now when I'm not gonna ride in, I'm just gonna go for walks with her while she adjusts her new shoeing and uh, hopefully get most of that filmed. So please comment down below, would that be interesting? Is that something that you would like to see? Please comment down below. So yeah, on my way to the stables and I'm gonna catch you guys there. So I've just arrived at the stables and uh, it's so cute every time I uh, park here because Ina, I think she recognizes my car or maybe it's the sound of my car. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna go out and we're gonna 
see if there's any reaction. So hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Just have to grab my bag. I'm car key, that's good to have. So she's standing over there in the red blanket. Sometimes she nays, but... Hey, girly! Oh, she's so cute. So I'm gonna close up my car now, lock it up, and then uh, head back in. It's so cold out, uh, even though it's only one minus. Uh, <laughs> freezing so much. Um, it's just something with the cold here in Stockholm that it's so close to the water, and yeah, it just gets really cold. So let's go see Ina. Hello. You go sit in your little Santa blanket. Hey, hey. Hello. Oh, cutie. I'm gonna pop it in now and let her relax. Oh, look at this little nose. Gonna re let her relax a bit in her stall and um, then I'm going, gonna go out for a nice snowy walk. Hi, Tina. So we finally, um, <laughs> finally groomed Ina and uh, we're out. So we started our walk and it started snowing. Uh, we're gonna be out for like, I would say 40 minutes maybe. Why are you hiding, girly? Come on. So another Christmas gift that I got uh, from my pupils was this really lovely robe band from my Dolores. I think she looks amazing in this. Thank you guys so much. So cute. And then I got her uh, this leather strap and this bit and I puzzled it together and now she has a really nice little lead bridle so when we go out on walks or maybe when i'm launching her i can use this and i think she looks super cute in it hey hey good all the horses are neighing because um my colleague has started letting them in uh, i start working at one o'clock and it's currently 20 past 12 so i need to go out on my walk now with inna so she gets to walk properly for 40 minutes before I'm gonna start working so uh, and the snow is picking up now so uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys later so I have a little tip for you guys if you guys like to go out on walks with your horse just like I do and your horse is clipped and you live in a cold area just like I do then uh, putting a nice blanket on like this uh, I'm fastening it with uh, one of these. I think it's called a roller. I don't really know the English word. I'm sorry. Um, the fastening. This nice woolly blanket. It's quite thick. With one of these. Uh, it's a really nice way to um, keep your uh, horse from getting any rubs here. Around the shoulder area. Um, so I actually bought... Uh, come on. So I actually have bought a uh, like a walker blanket for Ina, uh, but I stopped using it because she is really broad uh, here. Uh, so she will get a rub here from that blanket, um, which really sucks to be honest. Um, so that's a little nice tip for you guys. Uh, and I usually go out without any leg protections on her, as you can see. But if your horsey is like really spooky and I don't know, spicy flying around, then maybe wearing a couple of leg protections could be nice. Also use uh, like a nice lead rope and, uh, and a bridle when you're out walking. So it's snowing quite a lot now and uh, yeah, this is so beautiful, crazy nice winter landscape. Uh, I'm not really a fan of winter, but when it's like this, it's really nice to go out on walks and on hacks. Um, so it's about zero degrees, maybe one minus Celsius. Here we go. 
She's looking at the Icelandic horses that are like over there somewhere in the woodsy part there. Um, so yeah, other tips for surviving your winter or uh, ride or walk is uh, obviously wear really good clothes. I got my really long coat on and some nice booties. Uh, and uh, wear something on your head, also wear gloves. I've actually lost my gloves. Uh, don't know how that happened, but the other day when I was working, I was working uh, Sunday, um, I lost one of my gloves. Uh, I usually become like really warm when I'm out walking, so I tend to op open up like all my clothes and take my gloves off anyway. Uh, and since this jacket is really good, it like covers your hands and you can like kind of hide your hands. See if I can do it with all the leaf drop uh, with this bit here. Then it doesn't really matter. I stay warm anyways. Come on, girly. You have to walk. Come on. Come on. Um, so yeah, wear warm clothes. Um, if you think it's scary to walk out when it's super like wintry and snowy and especially icy, then maybe wear some like ice bugs or uh, like those little studs that are put on like a rubber grip thing that you put on your shoes. Uh, and of course your horse should wear studs as well. I'm gonna quickly show you guys. Hold on. Here we are. Some studs, I only have them in the back here. Um, because I find that, hold on. Because I find that the grip is enough with that. And if you put uh, studs, so you have four studs in total in one hoof, uh, also in the front, in the toe of the hoof. I think that the grip is too good. Uh, on the surfacing or the flooring that's here where I live. It's not enough ice here to have four studs. And uh, uh, obviously it completely depends on where you live. Now we have to walk, come on. Uh, <laughs> she is so stubborn today. Um, yeah, it totally depends on where you live, like how long your studs are, uh, obviously a different type of studs. You should use ice studs or winter studs uh, when riding out in the ice and snow. Uh, you can also have um, these soles on your horse that are called uh, snow grips. Uh, but since Ina is having her special former hoof, I can't use those at the moment. She actually would really need them because there's a lot of ice and snow that gets clogged up between her uh, hoof and her well, the former hoof now and her shoe. So, um, yeah, I actually bring, I'll show you what I actually bring to my walk. Hold on. I have to look at my beautiful horse. Let's see if I can, I only have two hands. It's so hard sometimes to film. You only have two hands and no cameraman, what's going on? So I actually bring a hoof pick out of my walks and my rides. So if it's, really bad i can just get off and pick your boots because obviously you don't want too much snow in there you want uh, the hoof angle and everything to be flat towards the ground so yeah we are going to keep walking for a while and enjoy this lovely landscape and we're about to end up into the woods here so we are on our way back to the stables and I thought I would quickly just uh, give you a couple of extra tips on how to dress when you're out in really cold weather because this is uh, surprisingly something that not everyone knows. Um, even though you might come from like a really cold country, some people just never learn how to dress properly. So uh, what I do is uh, obviously have something on your head like a hat or uh, something like that and then um, a layer close to your body and then I have a, a actually quite thin fleece sweater over that zip that up and then over the fleece I have a vest and then over that I have my 
long coat which covers my legs all the way down to my knees uh, and then I actually I have a quite thin riding pants uh, my new ones from my Dolores and if my Dolores would like to sponsor me with a thicker pair like the winter ones you are so welcome <laughs> but uh, these are the ones I'm wearing now the thin ones they're super good uh, all year round really um, and then I have woolly socks and my big uh, shoes here um, or boots um, but um, I really don't like wearing anything underneath my pants because uh, a lot of people wear like long johns or stockings but I really hate that feeling so uh, I would rather wear a long coat like this to cover my legs for warmth so I'm gonna stop talking here we're gonna head back to the stables hey girly and uh, I'm gonna start working so I thought that I would uh, end this video here I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing everything I got for my Christmas uh, for Christmas presents and uh, also Ina's newest shoeing session as well as uh, tips on how to dress your horse and yourself for winter so i hope you guys enjoyed it please like this video subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys in the next one bye